All right, check it out. Before I show you whether these truck claws worked or not, this is how I ended up in this horrible mud pit field in the first place. Coronavirus is taking people out. People are getting infected at alarming rates. Businesses are shutting down. Um, oh man, it could be economic turmoil. The stock market is going down. Uh-oh. I got stuck in this field, man. Oh, that sucks. Oh shit, you guys got stuck now? <laughs> this guy's tow truck is a four-wheel drive and he got stuck. They had to get another tow truck to get him out, man. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm still stuck. They left me out here, man. Still stuck, man. I can't get any traction. Well guys, my battery died on my watch phone. I forgot to bring my smartphone. They left me out here. They tried to call me, but my, my battery died. It's freezing outside. This absolutely sucks, man. <laughs> my cell phone watch battery died, so I had no cell service. I went to the stores, and they were all closed because of the coronavirus. So I wasn't able to call a friend or Uber, so I had to walk home in 20-degree weather and slippers. I came totally unprepared and I learned a hard lesson, guys. Um, but I decided when I got home that I was going to order some truck claws and see if that works. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Continually video suggestions, but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. Always leave your house prepared. Never get comfortable. <laughs> Always be ready for the worst. But anyways, I've tried everything to try to get my van out of there. I put wood behind it, sticks a towel um, it did move a little bit with the towel but then it, the hole just got a little deeper so now as a last resort I'm gonna try the truck claws 2 product I've seen it in YouTube videos where it got a lot of people out of uh, you know horrible situations in mud snow and ice supposedly this is guaranteed to work I didn't want to have to wait for Amazon to ship the product because they said it wasn't going to ship till Friday and then we could get a lot of rain and then it could, the situation could be even worse. So I looked for a, my, a local dealer and the closest dealer is an hour and 15 minutes away. So that's where I'm driving to right now to the dealer and, and hopefully that will work. Okay, finally made it out here. Man, this place is way out in the sticks. <laughs> You've arrived at your destination. Oh, this place is pretty cool. Alright, got them here. Truck claws too. Got the extenders. Uh, hopefully this works. Okay guys, got the stuff here. Just head out to the van and I pray that I can get this van out of here. <laughs> This is my last hope, man. Nobody else is willing to help me out here, man. So I hope this works. The ground is harder today, so I gotta hurry up. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. This is what we got to work with. Hopefully I can get this out of here. Okay, let's see what's in here. Get a nice bag. That's nice. Truck claws. All right, check it out. And the extender, I'll try it without the extender first. Direction of use this way, because I'm backing up out of here. Do not put it where the tire stem is. I don't know, I hope that doesn't damage this. Looks kind of tight, but I don't care, whatever. I did the other side. That one looks okay. It's on there solid. I couldn't get that ratchet handle to go all the way up. 
Oh well, here's the moment of truth. Yeah, baby! Woo! It works! <laughs> Yoo-hoo! All right, so I gotta back out of here the right way. Okay, let's do it. It dug deeper. It got me out initially, then it dug deeper. What I'm gonna do is switch them around and see if I can get out of here this way. And then try to come out around there, hopefully. Okay, that got me out. Uh, that worked by switching it the other way, so it got me out of that rut. Now I have to be smart and not end up in another rut. Look how deep that was, man. Shit. All right, so I don't want to screw it up anymore, so I have to take it real slow. Don't go too fast. It probably dug it more because I went up uphill. So let's try to get through this and see if it works. I tried putting the claw extender on, but I couldn't get it on. I took it slow, but got in another rut here. I didn't run it too hard, so it didn't go too deep. So I guess I just had to figure out how to get out of this. <laughs> but at least I'm closer to the road. Ah, oh, this is annoying. But they do work. This belt snapped here on this side, so that one bites the dust. I took the other strap off. And uh, it's not too deep, so I don't know. I'm gonna try to I may be able to get my car to be able to uh, get a long rope and connect it and try to pull it out. Um, at least it's not way out there anymore. So it, it did somewhat help, man. It did help. I have to say it did help. Because it could. if I was stuck out there, man, whew, at least I got a better chance now being closer to the road. So thumbs up to it, man. I really should have taken them off um, when I got up to a certain point there, but I was scared I was going to get back into the ditch again. So I thought I'd go real slow and, uh, and try to creep home, which I, it almost worked. Um, so I recommend if you do use these, when you get out of it and you can get to flat land and where it's not, where you won't get stuck, take them off and then try to do it without. And then if you get stuck again, put them back on. So this is a learning experience for me, guys. But I say thumbs up to them, you know. Uh, I mean, they're pretty expensive, but to be honest with you, it's kind of a lifesaver. By the way, if you want to get them, I have a link to them in the description and comment section of this video. Um, I bought them myself, so I have, you know, nothing to do with the company at all. Um, I'm, if, if it wouldn't have worked, I would have told you so. But they, you saw it, it worked somewhat. <laughs> um, I just d didn't know how to use it right. All right, guys. So. Leaving the bug out van again, but here's the road. Hey, you can see my van here. <laughs> so I may put a winch on the back of my car and get an extra long rope and try to, uh, real strong rope, and try to pull it out of there. And then, because I took the claws off, so uh, hopefully I should be able to. The rest of the ground is pretty hard. So stay tuned. Um, hopefully I can get it out with the next segment. I'll go to Harbor Freight and get a get a winch and some... some uh, some cable and rope and stuff and we'll see if we can pull it off stay tuned thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel book out moto where i customize a van for my motorcycle so i can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere subscribe to my youtube channel book out moto <laughs>